grilling season. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Okay, but seriously, that was supposed to be like a uh, Horatio in CSI Miami moment when he does the one-liner and takes the glasses off and he's all about it. Anyhow, neither here nor there. Back in the backyard, we're going to do a hassle-free, no knife required, buy it, build it, grill it, kill it, straight to your gullet, just general assembly, super easy, grilled patty melt sandwich. I've been dreaming of this thing for, I would say months. It's just been playing on my mind. It's my one meal a day, staying fresh, staying clean, keeping the body moving, even though we're putting some junk in it, but it still keeps me thin. Anyways, this sandwich has been playing on my mind. It's gonna be so simple, so easy, yet the flavor explosion in your mouth trap, in your taste sensation area, it's gonna be like, I don't even know, like just a, a land, of unicorn food treat delights all coming together at once. If that makes any sense, it probably it really doesn't, I know. But uh, anyways, let's get to it. We're gonna do a different angle today. Let's get you up close and personal, get on the grill, and then kill it. All right, welcome to down here. The sun did dip away, and now it came back to play, and I hope it'll stay. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get our uh, mixing bowl. We're gonna come in and we're gonna make our aioli plus, I'm gonna call it. Why am I call, oh my God, don't do that. Okay, come on now. Please, Mr. Mayo, what did you eat last night? Okay, aioli plus, why am I calling it aioli plus? Well, it's not even really that much of an aioli, it's just very simple. We're just gonna go mayo and Dijon. So aioli plus, reason being, you guys know me, post sandwich eating, I like it saucy, so I'm gonna want something to kind of spoon on after, but we're also gonna multi-purpose it. What's gonna happen is we're gonna coat the outside of the bread with this spread, just like on, uh, actually patty melts traditionally do get mayo. That's actually how it's supposed to be. I'm incorporating the uh, Dijon mustard because I wanna give it just, I don't know, just that flair, like a hoodie twist. It's just that little extra bite. Why not? Why not kick it up a bit, you know what I mean? So. Just like a grilled cheese or anything else, to get that like deep, fatty, greasy Maillard, make it bad for you, but make it taste great for you reaction, that's what this is. That's all this is. But I'm also gonna spoon it on after. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. Next thing, flying in all the way from Texas, we got some toast. Well, not yet. Currently it's technically bread, but we're gonna turn it into toast. Now, it's basically perfectly square. Also, just a, a tip of advice for you, two tips of advice. First things first, always do the things that you need to do on the cutting board before the meat. We're gonna season the meat after this. Just get it all done on the board before the meat. That way you can do the meat, give the board a quick wash, and then we're gonna eat off it after. And don't get at me in the comments. I scrub it, okay? Like I, I go in, I go hot water, I get it all done. But also, another thing, another tip is Working with like sandwiches and that, it's always good to go square because that way you can never screw up. If you have terrible like spatial awareness or whatever, like you can't line up certain things, this way, there's no wrong way. So, we spread her on a nice good amount. Honestly guys, this weather, it's beautiful. I'm in my hometown, visiting family. It's a whole good vibe. I'm hanging out with like my childhood best friend tonight. I'm sure we're gonna talk about new life and old life and just stories. And he's one of those guys that, uh, it's one of those guys that he, he, though you don't see each other or talk to each other for a long time, you got your own lives. It's just one of those dudes that you spent your childhood with and it's like, see each other and nothing's changed literally all the time in the world 20 years could go by and it's just like you're still best boys so i'm really excited for that okay let's clear these off the board okay so i'm just going to store them up top here for now and let's introduce these next guys i actually just want to show you this so a little too perfect if your stores don't have this yeah you're going to have to hand form some patties 
I lucked out today. These look great. They're a preformed patties, $2.66 ready to go. And shout out to my hometown for carrying medium ground beef. Do you know how hard it is to find medium ground beef in Toronto? I don't know why they discontinued it or whatever, but it's like everywhere is lean, everywhere is lean. And all I wanna do in my semi-fat self, at least in my, my really fat self in my mouth, is eat a burger with some actual fat content. Now, they come kind of pucked. I want to squish them out a bit, if I'm being honest, because I kind of want a little bit of a flatter, like, surf. I want to cover the surface area of the whole toast, or bread at this point. We keep getting into tech technicalities. I also just like a flatter burger, like a more wide Whopper-esque. I don't like a thick puck patty, okay? I know I'm in a hockey town, but I'm not really a puck uh, bunny, if you will. I don't even know where I'm going with that. Sorry, I'm covering up all these angles. But like I said, you guys get the drift of it. I do want to just make it more surface area because when we cook the meat, obviously everything is gonna, you know, moisture and fat's gonna come out and then they shrink back in a bit too, right? So we wanna kind of whopper them out so that they're bigger than the bread and then they'll come back in on the grill. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with a little overhang on the side. That's nice. That That'll give actually a beauty aesthetic. Okay, I'm gonna wash up these hands and then we're gonna season. Just go ahead and get that going. I don't know what kind of shadows we're working with here. Maybe I'll get in front. No, that's gonna kill the vibe. But you know what I mean. For me, with a patty melt, just cause we're gonna have the aged cheddar, I think the pepper goes really well. And we're gonna go with like heavy, like treat it like a steak, you know what I mean? Heavy pepper grind pat her in a bit and then out of this little salt hut we generously season with the salt very very nice okay sweet pat it in and I'm gonna flip no maybe I'm not okay this meat's getting tender okay we've ran into a bit of a tender issue so I'm gonna try to get these onto the grill ASAP Rocky melting in the summer sun we're gonna go upside down bing bang boom we're in the shadows a bit oh well come back to season town for this side season town season two episode two i should say season one episode two more pepper more salt. It's a very nice thing in this life. Okay. Oh, we'll just let those do their thing. They don't really need to get the, the lid closed on them, but let's go in for the kill. Got that flame. Flaming up real nice. And so we just let those do their thing. All right, we got the cutting board all cleaned up. The spatula oblingana is all fresh. Spatula omlegata, that's another word for uh, spatula or grill god. Burgers are cooking away nice. I think we're probably ready for a flip if I'm honest. Oh, we've got some, uh, we had an earthquake. Don't split on me now, baby. Ah, we're good. We're very good. Hey, that's the action shot. It's fire! Fire in the hole. Ooh -wee. Guys, I don't know about you, but I'm already like just so excited and fired up for this. I know you guys don't get to taste it, but and I'm sorry for that, but it is what it is. Hello. Hello. All right, we'll let them do their thing and then we're gonna get to building basically. All right, ladies and gents, we're at the point. We're gonna go in with the bread. We've got it ready. Ready, Freddy, let's get her down. And we're gonna have to act real fast cause I think she's gonna grill up quick. You know what? Sorry. If we're gonna go the full distance, always put it triangle to the square so you get the overlap of the melt. 
But if we're gonna really go for a melt, we might as well go the full thing and do the double. Cheese one side, cheese the next. All right? You guys know what I'm saying. Just need to check to see if we're okay. Oh yeah, coming along nice. Okay, we're gonna let that go for just a second. Shouldn't take too long. Case closed. And those are melting down good. Now come here and check this out. Mr. Cheese, you chill out. So I was debating, should I do grilled onions, make it sweet or whatever? But then I saw these, burst in onion, it's supposed to be like the flavor of a blooming onion. So it's it's gonna nice add a nice crisp with that onion flavor, super excited. And then here's where it really happens. The old cheddar working against the flavor pop of the hot pickled spicy pepperoncini. Man, but we're gonna have to build it on the grill and then um, kill the melt on the other side. So, oh my God, let's get to it. Okay, I gotta work these on top here. Give me one sec. You guys should be able to observe this from here. So we're coming up in the game. Where are we at with the grill on that? Oh, we're perfect. Guys, we are perfect. So, just so we don't burn them, general assembly, going up top, top shelf. So here we are, drippy melty goodness. Watch this next move. You guys might be confused by it. I said no knife, I mean no knife. I'm gonna pop this off. That leaves me with an unaffected pepperoncini. Why am I doing this? Simple. Simple. There's all this juice in here. I wanna reserve that and get a flavor pop in every bite. I want that juice. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to say. I want that juice bursting in my mouth, okay? So, we get a few of these flavor pop babies on top. Next thing you guys know, I hope the bottom is not burning. No, we're all good. We're top rack, that's why. We're gonna go in with the chips. Get that crunch, get that onion flavor. We gotta do this and this, just to make sure when we go down to the grill, we don't spill. Okay, hanging on. All right, one foul swoop. No, we're alive, we're good. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. Once again, fast, 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 fast. All right, there we are. My other camera overheated. So I'll switch up to this one. iPhone got all temped out, but there they are. They're gonna come off and I'll meet you at the table. Coming in hot. One and a two. Hello you.